This is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio's WKKP Digital Broadcasting, Chicago, Illinois. Again, we just wanted to let you know that Muhammad Ali passed away today. And um, it is a sad passing. He is the second person uh, that has had some importance in my life. Uh, the first being um, Jan Crouch uh, this year. Uh, Jan Crouch is a very famous uh, Christian woman that believed in helping others. Muhammad Ali, um, he may have grew up as a Christian, but later on in his adult life, he decided to follow uh, the Muslim belief. And um, he was born in Louisville, Kentucky. And... um, he uh he did marry um four women um the first being Sanji Roy and the second Belinda Boyd the third Veronica Porsche Ali and then the last one in 1986 Yolanda Williams so definitely uh she has been with him uh, for quite a long time and it's sad when you that person that you wake up next to and go to bed next to every day is not there and it takes a little getting used to so definitely uh send some prayers her way and um just say some prayers for uh, the family as well. We may not always believe what other people believe, but we can empathize in their sorrow. So definitely uh, remember Muhammad Ali for all the great battles that he's won, um, especially with his illness, which was diagnosed in the eighties and um, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's. And so that's, that's quite a bit to go through it's a lot to deal with, and he did it famously. Um, he just never gave up. He never gave up. I remember his daughter um, talking about, uh, Leila Ali, talking about she wanted to become a fighter, and she was afraid to tell her dad. And he was a little bit afraid for her because he knew what it what it cost him and what it required. And uh, But she was uh, quite successful with it. And so, um, you know, as you think about Muhammad Ali, I remember seeing him on TV or seeing my brother trying to imitate him. And uh, everybody loved them, so Muhammad Ali. And he had quite an effect on uh, quite a few people throughout the world. And even today, um, you can go into a boxing ring and either his poster is posted up or somebody is trying to mimic his style or just have his confidence. So, um, definitely, uh, keep your prayers out for him, um, and, and, and for his family, uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, like I say, he was born Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. Uh, he was born January 17th, 1942 in Louisville, Kentucky. And, um, he had a, a older, he was the, uh, older of two boys and, um, his father, of course, is Cassius Clay Sr., and so, and uh, actually he was named in the, the honor of a 19th century abolitionist and politician of the same name. Yeah, so that that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And um, I'm looking at uh, Wikipedia here, and uh, it also says that he had a sister and uh, four brothers, including uh, Nathaniel Clay. So... That he had a pretty big family. He had a large boxing career. Um, you may remember um, that he won a, a six-round decision over Attorney Hunsaker. Now I'm not a. I don't know everything about boxing. I just know him, and I know some very other some other famous uh, boxers. But he's the top. When I think of boxing, I always think of Muhammad Ali, and so. It, it sometimes you would even see him do cameos on different television shows, and so just to for him not to be here anymore to do any cameos or to do any uh, special PSAs or just to show up with that smile, uh, we're definitely gonna miss him. Uh, but remember, he was a fighter, and um, he 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 believed in staying positive and going for the things that you want. So we can rest. We can just have a little bit of peace that um, he's not uh, suffering anymore.
Amen. Not suffering in his body anymore. So definitely uh, pray for him as we say. May God have mercy on their souls. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Jesus loves you 100%. And so I say that to say because this is what we say or what I say for all those that have passed on. Not saying that uh, the faiths are the same because they're not. But the love and the empathy from one person to another can be the same. You can love someone and appreciate their talents. So just because you're a Christian does not mean that you cannot appreciate the talents of a Muslim. So we're all human beings and we all contribute uh, to this earth and hopefully to one another. So we can show kindness and love and appreciate him for all that he's brought to the world and his struggles and his accomplishments. So definitely um, show your love for him and uh, post on, uh, you know, the family's social media pages, uh, uh, Layla Ali, his page, and just, you know, give him some well wishes and whatnot. Definitely pray for them. All right. All right. This is Kathy Brox for LUTG Radio's WKKP Digital Broadcasting, Chicago, Illinois.